All right, so just a quick update. Um, I've been cutting out the exhaust. It's going pretty well. It's kind of hard to get under this car. There's not a ton of ground clearance. That's why I'm wearing this mask, you know. Metal fumes, whatever. Undercoating, burning off. I don't want to inhale any of that. Uh, yeah, I'll show you that real quick. So you can see where I cut right there. I'm going to do the same thing. It's not fully cut, but it's most of the way. I think I just bend it off pretty much. I'm going to do the same thing in the back. Around here somewhere, and then I'll just be able to take the exhaust right out. In pieces, because, you know, it has no real value anyways. I don't feel the need to reuse it or sell it. Lawless life from Neverland. Colder than the polar night. Guaranteed to make a stunning sight. Looking but you cannot find. I got, got some more parts to add to my collection, the tailpipe and the muffler, and this is the part that goes over the wheel, over the rear, uh, rear passenger rear wheel, I guess. I had to cut that separately because I wasn't able to, do, to wiggle this out. It's The angles just didn't really work out, so I made another cut right here, this connected. This part here connected right here, it's kind of sharp. Um, yeah, and that's how I went over the wheel well with that little arch. Yeah, so that's what I got so far. So before I do anything more to the car, I just want to give you a tour of these. These are called Google Glass. It came out in about 2013, so they're old. But I just found them again. <laughs> Forgot I had them. And they're pretty neat, so they can film. There's a little camera on them. You can film from them. So I'm going to switch to that in three... Two, one, and now. Alright, so I figured with these Google Glass that I have on right now, you can see my hands, I don't have anything in them. Um, I figured I'd give you guys an update on what's under the hood. So I can I disconnected, well I didn't really disconnect it, but this is, this is the main engine wiring harness here. It was like connected with some plastic connectors to the other wiring harness, and I, I found a, a buyer for that, so I'm going to sell that along with the ECU. Um, there's a couple sensors I still need to unplug, but it shouldn't matter. I'll just pull the engine with them still attached and I'll be able to get them out after. Uh, yeah, the exhaust is out, obviously. And so what I have to do uh, now is I gotta get the gas tank out. And there's a box right in front of the gas tank that I'll show you in a second. That I don't, I'm not really sure what it's for. And then obviously the engine and then once that out, once once all that's out, I can start buying parts and get this thing running on electricity, which will be uh, exciting. So my timeline for that is probably two more weeks before I order anything, because I still need to get an engine hoist, and those aren't those are actually uh, harder to find than you'd think. Like Harbor Freight sells one, but they're not in stock in any store around here within like 50 miles. <laughs> And even like secondhand on Facebook Marketplace and stuff, they're pretty hard to find. So yeah, um, give you a quick tour of the workspace. I got the exhaust stuff right there. Uh, speaker with some music and stuff in my storage bin, and then parts area. This is covered, so it won't get wet. And let me show you the the box that I'm talking about. Um. Let's see if you can see it with this. Okay, so do you see that black box right there? I really, I don't know what that's for. I'm guessing it's gas tank related, but I don't really know. So I'm going to unbolt that probably today and, <clears throat> and see what it is. So yeah, that's the agenda for today. And then engine hoist. Once I get that, we're pretty much done with the uh, first stage, which is getting rid of all the stuff that I don't need anymore. And then we can start the exciting part, which is the conversion. So it's been a little while since I've filmed anything, but what I just took off uh, yesterday was the, the fuel fume pump. 
it, or reservoir. I'm not totally sure what it was. I had to look it up. I didn't really know that it existed. And it's this piece here. So this sits right in front of the gas tank under the car. It hangs under. It's just bolted on in a couple of places. And I, I'm not sure if there's like a fan in there or if it's just, well, it wouldn't be a fan. Or if it's just like some kind of reservoir for the fumes. But I ended up cutting the wire and took that off. And now I'm going to take the gas tank off and see if I can slide it out under the car. So uh, I didn't film anything, but I cut out all of the gas and the uh, the fume lines leading from the tank to the hood. So there's nothing really under the car now, except for the tank. And what I'm still going to cut out is right in here. Let me turn the flash on. So this gas cap here obviously won't be needed anymore. And I need to cut out this line, this gas line, and then this, uh, I think it's a fume line, I'm not sure. But so that I can pull this, I can pull this thing out. It's actually, I w would have assumed it was rubber, but it's actually metal. So I had to get a, a new cutting tool for that because the angle grinder wouldn't fit in there and my handsaw only cuts up to aluminum. So yeah, I'm gonna get that out and I also got an engine hoist, so I'm gonna pull the engine, hopefully get all that done this weekend, and then we can move on to the fun part of the conversion with the motor and batteries and uh yeah. So it's almost uh, time to remove the engine. The last thing that I'm taking out, other than the gas tank, but that's that's not something I think I'm going to record, is this uh, exhaust manifold. Once that's out, I think I'll have the clearance to be able to pull this engine out. It's going to be pretty close, but I think I will be able to do that, and that'll be a separate video. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so it's uh, a couple hours later, and I finally got off the... Uh, the exhaust manifold. There were some very tricky bolts and tough places, but I ended up getting it. It wasn't terrible. And um, I had to, only had to make one cut. You can see right, right here. Uh, there was like a mounting bracket that mounted it to uh, actually to the engine. I just cut that off because I couldn't get to the bolts easily, and they were probably stuck too. So I got that out, <coughs> and then this is the gasket that seals it. Um, uh, something like, something like this, yeah, whatever, um, yeah, so that's going to be it for, for the second video of the teardown, and the next video is going to be taking out the engine, and, and then I'm going to get started on the conversion part.